So the way my mind works, a little ADHD is, I'm tired of sitting down and doing topic videos. I still wanna do about one or two a week, but I wanna move to where I just talk about what's on my mind vlog style and address issues here. And I think that's the best way to go. So if you guys came over for my story, okay? That's Instagram, at Mark Lobliner. I decided I'm gonna start the vlog, kinda like my buddy, my business partner, Chris Jones does, where he just goes and films sporadic things throughout the day, right? So I had a wonderful day. So those who haven't been watching my story, I went over this, but we were actually, you know, Ambrosia partnered, which means that we sold a part of our company, just being straight up honest, right? To a company called Brandless. Now Brandless is the most talented group of individuals. You know, we had a bunch of, um, talk to a lot of companies. I don't know if you guys know how the, the selling a company process or getting a partner process goes, but we interviewed a few companies. These guys are just unreal, amazing. And the CEO, Sid Tetros is, is an absolute genius. She is a, I, I, man, I, I, I love her management style and she's just amazing. And Adam, the guy we work with daily, he's, he's absolutely out of this world. So anyway, so today we flew out to Utah to have, that's where our headquarters are to basically Mike Rashid, Sean and myself. And we had a community event where we invited a bunch of people from the community, sampled out our products, met a bunch of other brands affiliated with our companies. And, you know, then we sat down at dinner, we met with our, um, well, with our, our partners. And I'm, I'm not afraid to say it, my boss, right? Um, first time I've had a boss since uh, 2000 and f 2004 at Weeder and, and Instone. So, you know, we went over there and um, so many good things. So Mike, Sean and myself have been formulating a lot of products. There's a lot of cool things coming out. We got marching orders on well, something we brought to the table, but we basically got to, you got to do this. And this is with their synergies. We would never be able to do this without brandless. Like we're going to bring you something that's just going to blow your mind from Ambrosia. So I'm really excited to talk about that. So I've been up since 2.30 a.m. It's Utah. So it's, that's 1.30 a.m. It's now, I think it's 11.30 p.m. Just got back from our meetings from dinner. I'm beat. I couldn't sleep well on the flight because I'm big. But anyway, I just took my pills, a whole bunch of pills. We'll go over that throughout this vlog. But um, got my MTS Nutrition Sleep Aid in here. Alongside this, I did take my Ritual PM, No Morbidity, and Golden from Ambrosia. So many other supplements I don't remember. I just put them in a Ziploc bag before I went for the night. Tomorrow I fly home, tomorrow, but tomorrow morning we're actually, we are, um, we're actually, I'm not, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it now, but we're, uh, we're the official partner of a division one soccer program. So we're going to talk to those athletes tomorrow. I met the coach today. He's an amazing guy. I, I can't state how much I'm blessed, but anyway, you know, like I say, you know, it's, you just got to keep working. You know, the guy who gave me a ride home from the airport today, he, uh, we got to talking. He actually turns out he went to Inglewood High, which is not too far from where I, where I grew up. And he was driving a lift and also working a full time job and working on his electrician license, right? So the guy is just crushing it, but he's making extra money with lift. And I always tell people, if you get off of work, let's say you work nine to five or eight to five and you get off of work and you just go train and go home and you got another three hours before and you're doing nothing, you're just playing video games, get another job. You literally, in this day and age, you could turn on your phone and start delivering Grubhub, Lyft, um, Uber Eats, Uber. There's no reason why you shouldn't be bringing in income above your normal income. For me personally, now I don't do this for the money, but I do it because I love doing it. But every morning, just about now, between 5 a.m. and 9 a.m., I have clients. So I have a 5 a.m. client, a 6, 3 a.m. client, and an 8 a.m. client. And then I train myself at um, at around 9.15. And then I get to work. So I'm always moving, always grooving, always getting it done. So And then afterwards in the evening, I actually help coach um, at Legacy at Carbon, which is um, the youth performance facility I own. So always keep moving, always keep doing your thing. You know, the one thing I know is that you might not be a millionaire. You might not become Warren Buffett. You might not even become... Hell, Jimmy Buffett. But at the end of the day, if you're busting your ass and working as hard as you can, you're going to do better than you would have done if you didn't. And it's enjoyable. 
because nothing is more satisfying than laying down in a hotel room bed or in your own bed after a hard day's work knowing that you gave life 100%. Good night, guys. It's about 5.55 a.m. I've been up for about 30 minutes. Oh, I've got about five and a half hours of sleep, so I'm ready to rock, I'm ready to rock. So this morning, hopefully, I don't know if I'm cleared to say what we're doing today, but we're a huge presentation to a D1 soccer team that, um, that we're actually partnering with. We're gonna be their official nutrition partner. So excited about that. So we can tell them all about Ambrosia, mix up some shakes. Um, it's gonna be so fun. So today, a little bit of cardio, got our presentation, meeting with our liaison at the company or become a good friend of mine. I love these people so much. So then, then we're gonna do a lifetime train because these companies, a lot of fit people. Like, it's awesome. Everybody loves lifestyle. So I'm getting my cardio done. Just gonna do 20 minutes this morning, get the blood flowing. Ready, woke up, man, had all my vitamins. I pack them with me. I should have probably, I'll film that next fucking time. Basically, I had a Ziploc full of pills. I took nectar, mental jewels, um, with me in powder form. So I drank that down that in the morning. Go, 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 go. And here I am. So I'm just going to hit this quick, easy cardio. Make sure everything's on point. Make sure my brain's going. Make sure my body's right. And then, um, then I fly home at like 3.30, land at like 10.30. And then I start the next morning with a client at 6 a.m. And then huge day. Also got a big announcement too. Um, Writing a book with my buddy, Brandon Kaysinger. It's gonna be great. You guys seen him, he's the guy who's treating me. But this guy said, well, you guys are gonna see. So we got the video guy coming Friday. Gonna film that training session, let's go. What's crazy is a lot of people just don't get what it's like to really experience success. And that's a shame because success is something that a lot of people measure in terms of monetary gain. And it does help. Like people who say money isn't everything generally have never been broke. Uh, money isn't everything, right? I'll trade all the money in the world for the love I have for my wife and my children. Luckily for me, I get to earn and earn some financial success and also spend all the time with my kids because I figured it out. Now, the first few years of my life, my adult life, you know, in my 30s, 30s especially, I didn't quite understand how to balance things. I didn't prioritize the fact that my family is everything to me that I love them more than anything. But if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have reached the success I'm at now for business. So it's a give and take. You can't be perfect at everything. Something has to give. So success for me is being able to um, go to the restaurant and order and not worry if the steak costs 30 and the chicken costs 20. Success for me is going to the grocery store and not having to have a set budget, just being able to buy the food that I want and need. For me, that's success. So I reached that in my early 20s. Um, but to get there, I had to budget. I didn't always have the opportunity to be like, if I wanted to today, I'd go out and buy a new car. Pretty much any car other than like, um, what are those things? Like, I'm talking like, if, I could buy pretty much any car, right? Um, other than like a million dollar supercar, right? I'm not buying that shit. But I don't, but I can. And that's the thing. And you can fund and you can borrow, put yourself in debt. But my advice to people is, you know what? Work towards getting there. It's all part of the journey. Don't expect when you first get out of college, you get a job, to be able to buy a $90,000 car, to be able to buy all those things. Start small. Start with a $2,000 jalopy, $2,000 piece of shit car, pay it off, cash and work, and work, and work. And like we talked about last night, get that job, you know, drive the Uber Eats, do the, do the Grubhub, do the Uber, do the Lyft. So when you're done with your job job, do that. And if you don't do that, start on your side hustle, right? Learn how to copyright. Maybe do some email marketing, figure it out. But the bottom line is, too many people have too much time and they complain about not having enough money. It's pretty simple. You get a job at Aldi right now, part-time on the weekends, making 20 bucks a fucking hour. Shake Shack by my house is paying $18 an hour. It's fucking Shake Shack. When I was a kid, I worked in a pet store. I made $6 an hour. $6. Motherfuckers make I know there's inflation, but this is insane. Plenty of jobs out there. Plenty of jobs out there. 
Work your fucking ass off, dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, the reason my quality of life is so high now is one, I figured out this health thing. I figured I would do my health. That's why I'm going to be filming a lot of what I do for my health. Right. But you need to figure out. You need to figure out what it is that drives you. What makes you happy. And if you're doing a job that sucks, and I do jobs I don't like every day, to this day I do that, it's towards that goal of what you love. If you love nice cars, that's going to help you pay for the nice cars. If you want a big fancy house, that's a big fancy house. If you're like me and all you want to do is have that beautiful house in the suburbs and have happy kids and be able to coach soccer, ref soccer, and, uh, and, and coach kids and start a facility to help kids reach their goals, then do that. But it starts with sacrifice. You're not always going to do what you love to do, period. It's part of the process. It's part of the process. Trust the process. Work hard. Succeed. And while you're doing that, keep your education. My dream is to coach kids, right? So by getting that, I was able at 41 years old to open up Legacy at Carbon with Bryce Beal. So now we're training all kinds of teams. We got entire basketball teams. We got soccer teams. We got all kinds of things. We're training lacrosse teams. We're training individual kids. We're training everybody from beginners to D1 athletes. That's what I was working for. Find your why and work your ass off to get there. So I'm actually trying something. So my sleep quality has been garbage. I haven't been sleeping enough, but the sleep quality hasn't been the greatest. So I've read recent data. It was actually 2020 was this data that um, time-restricted eating, we've been doing it all backwards. So a lot of people skip breakfast. So the bottom line is, that's okay. I usually, sometimes I don't eat till later unless I'm up really early, right? I'm usually up for a few hours before I eat. I don't really care. I mean, I eat as I'm hungry. I'm not competing anymore. But so now I'm trying to cut my win, my eating window. I want to have my last meal by 5 p.m. And the reason being, it's been shown to improve sleep. It's also been shown to improve your fat burning while you sleep. Now, I don't need to burn fat. Obviously, I'm fucking shredded. But, I mean... <laughs> Wow, I didn't know they looked that good. Shh. Shh. Oh, so anyway, I don't need to burn fat, but I want to optimize my health, my wellness and everything and my mental focus. So I'm going to give it a shot. So I'm going to eat today. Probably my first meal will be probably I'll have a bar before training, an outright bar. Um, go hit the gym. And then my last meal will be on my flight. My, um, I'm actually upgraded to first class with points. So I'll hit that on my flight. On the way to, um, I have a stopper, I have a connector in Detroit. And then I'll be done for the day. We'll see how it goes. If I can deal with the hunger and get used to it, based on the data, it should be good. But I'll be reporting. So I am starting time-restricted eating. My eating window will be anywhere between 9 and 12, um, 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. That is when I'll start eating. Then I want to finish it by 5 p.m. Wish me luck. I'm not really good at starving, especially when I'm this late. This is gorgeous. We're actually giving a nutritional seminar at Brigham Young University to the men's soccer program. This place is amazing. Look at all this, all this history. I'll never forget in the 90s, Ty Detmer beating University of Miami. Oh, football history here. This is a great place. Honored to be here. Honored to talk to these great collegiate athletes. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> I gotta show my food. Mike! I didn't, I didn't sign a waiver. I didn't sign a Dude, waiver the waiver is in the contract. Fine print. Nah. Fine print. I'm Jewish. I put that shit right nah. in it. Oh, that looks big. That's a lot. They did give us a good portion. They even gave us shit we didn't order. Fuck it. Just write that meal. This is first class. Had points up there. This is the size. Um, so, this is good stuff. I'm 
I'll turn up the pretty good amount. And hopefully Tommy will turn it on time. And uh, tomorrow's a busy day. I can't really take care of it. Things will be crazy. I'm traveling a lot more with this kind of machine. Detroit. Flight's a little bit delayed. Hopefully that clears up. I'm always giving me text updates on my daughter's soccer game. She's supposedly playing really well. They're up one to zero, start of the second half. And I just can't wait to get home, but I couldn't sleep on the flight. So I watched a bunch of like documentary series, like on the um, with Malice in the Palace. For you guys old like me, you remember that? The big fight, Ron Artest punching the fan. Oh, good times. So, man, this I, I kind of miss this grind of traveling. I hate traveling, but I kind of enjoy the fact that I hate it and I do it. But I love where I go. Like, this is an amazing trip, right? So, uh, I'm feeling good. I'm just standing by while we're reading these texts of game updates. So, I'm going to continue to do that. I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right. So, I'm home. Uh, I'm tired. It's midnight. And uh, so, I actually, I need a little snack. I ain't going to lie. I'm hungry. So, I just got a scoop of MTS Whey, made no brownie with a little cream on top. 25 grams of protein, minimal carbs, minimal fat. Just a little bit of something. It's been a long day. So Cammy's team won, 1-0. One she played a fantastic game from what I hear. So I have to be up in a couple hours because my first client is at six. Then I got another one at eight. I'm gonna get my hip worked on at uh, nine, no, at, at 10, at, 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 uh, yeah, around 10, then I'm gonna train. So tomorrow's gonna be a busy ass day and also I have all this office work I have to catch up on. Oh, by the way, Labor Day sales going on right now at tigerfitness.com. 15% off top brands, free outright bars with orders over, I think, 129. And then um, a free shirt with orders over 75. So, yep, it's gonna be a long day tomorrow, but hopefully I get some sleep. All right, guys, good night. So it's uh, like 5.15. I've been up since 4.30, got my fourth day. So I'm fasting till probably I train. So I'm gonna go train two clients. I got a 6 a.m. and an 8 a.m. Drive to Columbia, get my hip fixed. Uh, that's going to all be filmed. So what's not going to be vlogged is the training session and me getting adjusted. My buddy Nito is coming in. He's going to film all that, make it all professional for y'all. But anyway, I have my, I don't need Google. My wife knows everything mug. I got an espresso right here. Caramel cookie. Caramel cookie flavored coffee. Then I put some stevia in it. It's delicious. So I took a bunch of pills. I'm going to go over my pill regimen soon, but I took a bunch of pills that are also fat soluble vitamins. So for my morning fat, I'm going to have this MCT. Now MCT is going to keep me full and satiated till it's time to eat, which is probably going to be around 11. It gives me a long time of not eating. All I had was uh, 25 grams of protein last night. So I'm pretty much fasted. I was 205 this morning. My goal is to be 200 or slightly under that's my that's my weight all right so it's uh 740 client one is done a little bit of cardio just talked to my good friend courtney you know the guys train with we just schedules don't line up anymore and um yeah so i'm just doing a little bit of cardio got one more client at eight then i'm gonna head over to see dr brandon dr casinger at um right after that so i'll be there about 9 45 i'm gonna film the entire session it's gonna be really awesome See how he's treating my hips. My right hip is six inches lower than my left. So as you guys probably saw on the channel earlier, still haven't eaten today, just had that coffee with some Forte in it, all my vitamins and stuff. So I'm feeling amazing. Um, I'm really enjoying the fact that I'm not pushing calories anymore, not pushing food and just eating when I want to eat. Um, and that's where I want to be. I want to be in a situation where I'm fat and I'm carb adapted, where my body can survive on ketones and fats, but also just be able to go over and use glucose as well. So that's the goal, um, having that dietary flexibility, that energy flexibility. And so I don't have to live by what I've always lived by, which is eating multiple meals a day. Now, for those of you reaching a certain goal or getting a certain area in life or losing weight, yeah, it's good to have that set macro, that plan. You can follow, decrease, increase. But for lifestyle, as I wrote on dropthedadbod.com, dropthedadbod.com, you know, I don't want to measure out food anymore. I don't want to live and die by the meal. I want to be able to eat when I'm hungry. I want to be able to not have to, you know, worry about hunger pangs or anything when I miss a meal. So I'm training my body for that. And really so far, so good. It's really working out for me, feeling good. I'm only, you know, I'm, shoot, I just had my guest posing what, three weeks ago. So it's new for me, all this stuff. 
So I'm retraining my body to be ready for basically life after competing. So it's gonna be a hell of a road, but you know, my whole goal is longevity and health. I was 205 today, but that's after only getting three hours of sleep and flying. I'm probably in the 203, 204 range. Right so I'm here at N8 Health Centers. It's my camera guy, Nito. Where can, where can you find you, bro? Uh, through Nito's lens, underscore in between each word on Instagram and TikTok. That's a lot. We need to get one word without underscores. Let's work on that. <laughs> so anyway, we're about to get snapped up. He's going to catch it all. It's going to be another video. I'm going to link it down. Below. Wish I could include that training footage in this vlog. So anyway, so Nito came in. He's my new camera guy. He's amazing. So we got all the chiropractic footage. Got, got footage of the PRP injections in my lower back. And also got a sick workout that explains a lot of methods that will help you have better workouts. So anyway... Be sure to uh, keep an eye on this channel. This vlog keeps going, man. We're gonna probably do two days in a row and then post it. But man, what a amazing, amazing session. All right, this is the post-workout meal. Always clean, man. Got this salad here. What's this place called? Trey? Southern Trey. Southern Trey. There he is. The man who fixes everything. Look at that, that's an off-season meal. Right here. Chicken, Boom. sweet potato, broccoli. Neato. Yeah. Boy, you, get your, you hang out with me, bro. Yeah, you, can't, you got to take that dress. You got to get rid of it. got to uh, get rid of the hey, dress. Look, he's got the sugary uh, croutons. No, nah, man. Hey, one it? step at a time. No, those are pecans. Hey, man. Yeah, don't eat those. Yeah, Give them to me. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat those, man. Give them to me. Give them to the, Give them the machine. Those are so good. Bro. Thank you, man. Bro, Nito, hang out with me, man. We'll get you. We'll get you right. Get we'll get you. It. You'll go from behind the camera to in front of the camera. So this is about, I'd say, eight ounces of chicken. Avocado, so all healthy. So I'm only eating for like five hours of the day, probably. So you know, I'm trying to get as much clean shit as possible. Now that is an off-season meal. I did forget my cheese though, my fats. You gotta get cheese. I They'll know. bring cheese. Yeah, I'll look it up. You gotta get the cheese. It is four o'clock, man. I got home. All right, a little bit of work done, and then I fell asleep. I took like a 20 minute nap. There's a little bit of way. There's a uh, peanut butter chocolate chip. GAF way. I bought about 30 of them bitches or I bought the whole company. So anyway, I got a banana in it and a little bit of granola on top of some whipped cream, a cup of coffee, rock and roll. And I got about, I'll do about two hours of work. Then I'm going to go to a high school football game. So, That's right. I have this whoop strap. I love it. The bad thing is it tells me how bad of a person I am. So I always tell y'all to get adequate sleep and all that. I've averaged a little over three hours of sleep this week at night. It's from Sunday through Friday. So I took a little like 20 minute nap. I, I don't even know. I didn't look at the clock. And uh, then I tried to get some work done. Good news is our parent company in Utah, it seems like everybody took a four day weekend. So they usually give me a lot of stuff to do on, on, on Fridays. Um, Tiger Fitness, my staff is really taking taking the reins for me in my absence this week and the sales launched. We're having another record sales day, Katie. We're crushing it. Nice. So um, we're actually going to go. I'm, I'm caffeinating up. I got this ghost bubblicious strawberry splash. Um, go to Ravenwood High School football game versus a rival, Franklin. And uh, looking for, I've never been to a Ravenwood game. My kids go there. But with Legacy, I really don't have a favorite team because we train basketball teams, lacrosse teams, players from all different schools. So I stay neutral, except at my daughter's game. But even then, I'm rooting for my daughter more than I'm rooting for the school. But I obviously want my daughter to win state again. So I'm exhausted, and I just need a good night's sleep. Like More than five hours would be nice. So anyway, that's pretty much all that. So I can't wait to go to this game. Hopefully I, uh, I pep up, because right now I'm feeling I just got hit by the bus. What are you making? Sludge. Planta sludge? Mm -hmm. What flavor is that? Twix. Oh, that looks so good. It's like a cookie dough. Mm -hmm. You put any chips in it? A little bit. Nice. That looks gorgeous, man. So how are you feeling today? Good. Good? We got big news, don't we? Yes. Got big news for the vlog? Yes. When do you want to announce it? I think I should trademark what we're going to trademark, and then we announce it. Yeah. Because we got to own that bish. All right. Well, you ready? Yeah. Tell everyone how excited you are for this project. I'm so excited. Nobody can see you. You have a lot of hair. I know. Oh, man. I'm well, so, so your game, I can't wait to see some film because mom said it was your best game ever. 
Second half, you came out swinging, mm-hmm. came out Cobra Kaiing everybody. So what's your secret? What, what advice do you have to give people? I don't have any advice. I mean, I don't know. Work hard. Work hard. Take steroids. Yeah. So, you know, this week, I, um, I spent a lot of time with a lot of successful people. And with all the stuff going on with Ambrosia and the companies, you know, last year, my on December 11th, I really thought that getting a bodybuilding pro card was very significant, that it was something that that was an achievement. And it was. And I will I will literally put in my obituary on my tombstone that getting a bodybuilding pro card was one of the greatest moments of my life. I want IFBB pro in my obituary on my tombstone. But, well, I'm going to be cremated, so I'm whatever the fuck they do for cremation. But then I realized being around all these successful people and what I've done since I've got my pro card not related to bodybuilding, in the grand scheme of life, my pro card was was really not that huge of an accomplishment. Um, I'll, I, I'm really proud I did it. Now, again, it's one of the proudest moments of my life. But what we're doing now with business and creating things and innovating and and what we're doing from a business standpoint and from an operation standpoint, from a logistics standpoint, and from a partnership standpoint with Brandless. Dude, I mean, I just realized that at the end of the day, um, you know, the bodybuilding pro card in the grand scheme of my life isn't even like 0.02% of what I'm proud of. Um, I'm very proud of it. But again, like what I've done since that pro card, man, it's been a hell of a run. Like 2022 has been the greatest year of my life. Check this out. I'm at the first high school football game I've been at since I played high school football. Look at this. These kids have instant replay TVs. Where was this? Where was this? We literally just had to get yelled at. I had no idea where we were getting yelled at. The best booster isn't a shot. It's your natural immune system. Every time we step out into the world, we are attacked by viruses that do their best to break down our defenses. Vita helps solve this problem. Vita contains proven antiviral replication supplements and Immulina to ensure that your body is primed to defend itself against foreign invaders. Don't go another day unprotected. Get your Vita today.